What's going on? We're back at it again today. Drams on deck. Today, I got a nice little common heavy hitter. This is the Cavallon Distilleries. This is the, basically the base model expression. This is about at 43% APV. And if you've seen other of my in, uh, other videos, you know that I am a Cavallon fan. This is the box here, 43% back of it here i'm a big cavalon fan as they as i guess you know if you were a fan and i'm going to pour this as you can see this on this last leg so i'm going to share this last dram with you all and give you my thoughts on it so cavalon is a very well respected uh taiwanese whiskey and it is not considered scotch because it didn't come from scotland but it is from Ty uh, taiwan and in that area the tropical climate definitely uh tends to lend itself and it can these uh, particular spirits that age a lot more faster and much more mature than certain barrels that are sitting aging in a still a normal distillery be it as it may they have been winning awards left and right they have a couple of spirits as in the uh couple of my older reviews which is a vino barrique which is i think it was 2012 or 2013 i won a whiskey award for the best whiskey in the world um they have other expressions that are highly highly sought after very expensive that i will say that the soloist version is very expensive i have a couple of them be coming your way as well but i am a, a big catalog fan and, and I, I really enjoy their products and i very pretty much had uh, everything i have for them has been quality per se um so but the thing about Cavalon is you know um, they're not pretty much all of them are pretty much non-age statements so there are a lot of uh a scotch and whiskey aficionados who are really uh, big on age statements, though uh, they doesn't really come with age statements. But to me, more so than the age statement, I'm more concerned with the main thing, which is to me, taste is king to me. If something tastes good, it is king. So I mean, there's there's things that are very expensive that come in nice uh, nice packaging, but when the taste when you come down to taste, if the taste is lacking, I don't care about the prestige, about the price, availability, about the packaging. Taste is king first and foremost. So if something is trash, but you wrap it up nicely, it's not going to get purchased again by me. So I, I'm, that's just my opinion. But Cavalon usually has both. So be as it may, um, this one right here was what you would call the entry level of Cavalon. Um, so it's almost like if you like the Mercedes line, you're getting a, you know, the A class or something like that or the, the C class. It's pretty much the lower model. You know, this is which I, 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 in my opinion, I tend to call this a luxury brand. Um, because some of their other expressions are, you know, a lot higher up in the, on the food chain, not, but not just in price, but in quality as well. So this is what I would call the base model of a luxury brand. This one right here. So I'm going to jump on his nose. Pick it up. Not a lot of distinction per se. But a little bit of vanilla, a little butterscotch, and that's pretty much uh, what I'm picking up on the nose. Uh, again, I don't know the age of this whiskey, but my experience with the bottle, I can pretty much all but guarantee you is less than 10 years. I know that. Um, you know, it, it definitely, uh, just as the other one, coats the palate pretty well. And you, I've never had a burn or a bite or alcohol, uh, a distasteful alcohol in any of their products. Um, they're pretty much all smooth. It's a matter of complexity, the richness of it, and those type of flavors, you know, um, that, that's going to make them distinct. But for me, uh, on this nose, like I said, there's nothing special on it. I'm going to pick it up. Just two things on my particular nose right now. A little vanilla and butterscotch is prim primarily what I'm picking up and detecting on this. Um, this particular bottle, I had this bottle for... I want to say almost maybe 10 months or something around there. I got it at the Total Wines and Spares. It was at a bargain price. I think it was only about 55 bucks. And if you know anything about Cavalon, you rarely see, you know, um, Cavalons at that price, you know. They do have some other bottles that's un an expression that are under $100. But they're, they're, they're more towards the 80 90 marker. But this was like about 55 bucks. So I was like, wow, this is still for Cavalon. I never uh, had this particular one before. So I want to give it a shot and say, hey, you know, how does this match up against the other ones, you know. So I had this about 10 months and, uh, uh, you know, uh, this was my first and only experience with this particular expression. And so might as well jump right into taste since I brought it up. On the palate. I'm 
me take another sip before I give my true opinion. Pick it up. It's vanilla. It's a little butterscotch. Maybe just a hint of toffee and some ginger. It's, it's relatively uh, viscous. Um, I've had some other expressions that's, that's more oily and, and viscous than this. But it has a decent amount, you know. You hold it, sip it around a little bit. It coats it well. But primarily, ginger, vanilla, a little bit of butterscotch is what I'm picking up on this one right here. Those three flavors are kind of more distinct for me. Uh, like I said, this one right here is this shouldn't break the bank. If you if you want to, let's suppose you're someone who drinks, uh, just for example, blended something like a Johnny Walker Black or Buchanan's or Jameson. You want to try something that's maybe maybe slightly more aged and more uh, refined. Uh, and, but you don't want to break the bank. I think this is a good uh, entry level into uh, a, a higher end maybe whiskey uh, without breaking the bank. I mean, this is just an example. I mean, there's other ones that's, that can do that too. I mean, someone who you know who's looking for entry level uh, uh, whiskey. I think the Glen Eleven Twelve is good. Um, just throwing. Uh, I think the Glenmorangie Ten is good. Uh, Macallan Twelve is good. Macallan Ten is good. Those are just some examples of some entry level ones that if you. Uh, looking to do a single malt, slightly more refined than some of the previous ones, the names that's still out there. Those are, in addition to this, this, this is a good um, uh, expression to jump into. Like I said, it's not going to break, and all those ones I named is not going to break the bank. Pretty much all those bottles that I named just previously should be no more than 60 bucks or less. So, you know, these are something that, you know, maybe the average Johnny Walker is $35 or, or something like that. If you drink a Buchanan's and you, or Dwarf's and you want to jump into something like that's a single malt, a little bit more slightly more refined, you know, you probably add you know, another 20 bucks to the bill. You can get some of those previous names plus this as well. This right here, you don't want to see it everywhere. I will say that even though Cavalon is um, accessible and, and much high in uh, or he's decent market uh, 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 liquor distributors, but this particular expression, you're not, not necessarily always going to see it everywhere. But if you do, it should be relatively priced. It shouldn't be no more than 70 bucks at best. And that's more on the high end. Um, so, I, you know, like I said, I got a 55, so it should be relatively, as, um, you know, a, affordable price, you know. Bars is some of, his, some of his big brothers that I just recently purchased that's in the $500 bar park. So, you know what I'm saying? Just give me an idea of the price range of Cavalon. You know, the solo is the higher end ones. Those are going to, you know, range in the, in the hundreds. Where this right here, you should be able to find this for 60 bucks or less, on the, you know, give or take. You know, um, I'm going to take one more sip and I'm going to give you my review on the uh, overall score. This is only like 43%, so I don't I don't add water to this because it doesn't need it. It's already 43, it doesn't need a drop of water at all. Overall, again, my last sip, I'm tasting the exact same thing. Vanilla, butterscotch, a little bit of ginger, but vanilla and butterscotch are the two prevalent ones that I get the most. That's slightly what I got on the palate. Palate was, I mean, as I was on the nose. The nose was pretty common, it was, you know, nothing exceptional. But on the taste-wise, um, there's no burn, no bite. Pretty smooth, but I will say, I'm only basically because I'm, I'm a little bit more experienced uh, spirit drinker, and I've had other Cavalon products. So to me, this Cavalon, I'm only keep in mind this. I'm, I'm putting this in a, in a, in a conceptual. Like, this versus the other Cavalons does not fit. The, you know, it doesn't. It falls short. So if you are a more experienced spirit drinker, and you are also a lover and experienced drinker with different Cavalon expressions, this one falls a little bit short. It's not bad, trust me. If I if I just base it upon this, you know, on his own merits, it's a pretty, it's a good drink. It is, but I'm only comparing it to the other Cavalons. This one is not as nearly as good as the uh, the Manzanilla, or the Moscatel, or the Portwood, or even the Sherry Cast, the Sherry Oak one. 
um, it falls short. But obviously, those expressions are well, you know, hundred twenty dollars and up. So, nor and I expected that. So, so if you're looking for, like I said, if you're looking to get, you know, a base model into a luxury, what you would call a luxury brand, if you if you're not experienced, this is a great way to go. Like I said, 50, 55 bucks, give or take. Uh, it definitely has a nice, uh, uh, pleasant. Uh, there's no bite to it. Forty three percent. And it is, it does a trick. It, it, it does well. I mean, I would definitely would not mix this. I'll say that. Um, so would I buy this per, for me personally? Would I buy, buy this again? Probably not. Only because, like I said, I'm basing it off all the other catalogs that I've had. So I'd rather instead of spend $50 on this, I'd rather just spend another $20 and get the pork wood or, you know, the other expressions because I like that more. To me, it's distinctly better. If I had to rate this particular bottle out of a 10, I mean, basing on sale, I'd give, I'd give it a... About a seven. I give it no more than a seven. Um, on a good day, it's a it's a good seven. Um, I, like I said, the other expressions of Kevin Lines is nine and nine and a half. This one right here to me is it's a seven, which I'll say it's still good. It's that I don't want to poo poo on it. It's definitely good for someone who's coming up and want to try my higher brand who's never had a, uh, maybe what you would call those type of whiskeys. This is more refined than like I said, maybe a, a you know Johnny Walker or a Dwarf or something like that. Uh, but if you're more experienced and you've had other Kevin Lines and you had other uh, what you call more refined and aged and sought after and highly awarded uh, Scotch whiskeys, this can definitely do a trick too. I mean, if you're just looking to something that's easy to drink, that's not going to break the bank, this can fit the bill just the same. But if suppose I'm if I'm having a celebration per se and I want to bring out the big boys, I'm not going to grab this. I'm just if that puts in the context. If it's something easy to drink, easy you know that's that's smooth, that's not going to break the bank, you're looking to step up, this can do it. But for me, I'm a little bit past that point. So for me. Um, I do enjoy it. It's definitely still pleasant. Don't get me wrong. It's still pleasant dram, but you know, um, I just had just far better products. You know, in, in, in his own wheelhouse in the Cavalon household. But like I said, it's a base model of Cavalon, so I get it. I understand. Still pretty good. I mean, seven is still pretty decent, pretty good. I, you know, so it's not great, but it's good. So like I said, I will say give it a shot. But like I said, me personally, I would rather just get the higher, you know, the the more the Cavalons that I like a little bit more as opposed to this. This this is a pretty decent though. I will give it that. Um, like I said, if you're coming from, you know, from a, a maybe a blended whiskey, this will be a step up for sure. If you know, if you're, you know, new to uh, single malts and those type of things, then this definitely can fit the bill. Like I said, so all in all, that's what we scored. Cavalon Whiskey Distillery. Uh, like I said, you can get this at a, for a decent price, uh, pretty much at whatever store you get. Like I said, if this is more than seventy dollars, I would say don't do it. Anything, I would price anything above sixty-five dollars. I would not pay not a, a cent more. So if you see this at a store that's like 75, 80 bucks, I would say, just drain my personal opinion, I would say no go on a purchase. If you can get this anywhere in the 50s and low 60s, it's a, it's a cop, you know. But anything above that, the, the, like in the 60s, absolutely not, you know. So that's just my opinion. Coming with more heat, signing off. You know what I'm saying? I definitely appreciate y'all. Uh, coming at me with in the remarks. I appreciate the, the interaction with you guys. Thank you for taking your time and watching the videos. Till then, signing off. Drams on deck.